Welcome to the Puff Potato. My name is Abongide. Wow, deep voice. Anyway, welcome to the Puff Potato. My name is Abongide, and today I'll be doing something that is either very generous or very stupid. Today I'll be giving you guys a window into my possible uh, team that I'll be setting up in the first Premier League game week for the fantasy online game and uh, of course I'll be giving you guys tips I'll be giving you guys potential selections and I'll also be talking about how I might be setting up my team for the entire season but before I get to that I would like to first uh, tell you guys about uh, the online league that we have set up the interweb league uh, we'll be posting the code up in this video uh, for those of you who are interested in joining and uh, for those of you who are interested in testing your skills against very smart very geeky very uh, uh, football orientated uh, fans of the Premier League and uh, I also want to apologize or a future apology to those people who will be taking my suggestions to heart uh, and <laughs> Those people who begin like 20 points from my suggestions. I'm I'm not a football genius. I am not I'm not looking through a crystal ball and seeing the future. These are my opinions based on analysis that I have taken throughout the preseason, last season, and the uh, transfer policies of certain teams. So I apologize if you fail dismally based on my selections. But anyway, let me start at the goalkeeping position. Uh, my first goalkeeper is Alison Becker from Liverpool. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Liverpool fan and I was so happy. So freaking happy that we signed a goalkeeper, a guy from AS Roma, who is also Brazilian and the and the first team Brazilian goalkeeper. A very very talented goalkeeper. I think he'll be keeping a couple of clean sheets for Liverpool this season, and uh, I'm, I've got high hopes for him. Anyway, my second goalkeeper is Ben Foster. This is a goalkeeper that played for West Brom last season and now has moved to Watford. I think a very good buy from Watford. And I also think he might potentially start over Gomez. He's affordable, uh, hence I put him in my team because I want to save money for the rest of the squad. And I think he will start. So I think I think if anyone's looking for a budget goalkeeper, I think Ben Foster might be a good selection. Moving on to my defense, I have Vincent Company from uh, Man City. Congratulations to Man City for winning the Community Shield. Uh, Vincent Company played for a couple of minutes in that game, so that gave me the indication that he will start for Man City in the first game. Man City extremely talented. It, ha it goes without saying that they will probably get some clean sheets, and I think this is a good selection. My second defender is Cabasele from uh, Watford. I chose a couple of Watford defense defenders here because of the first few games they'll play. They'll be playing against weaker teams and even though they are quite a weak team too, I think there will be some nil-nil scores in one or two of those games uh, and he'll be picking up points because of that. My third defender is Ashpilu Quaita from Chelsea very talented goalkeeper. I chose him because of the new point systems of uh, the season uh, in the in the Fantasy Premier League this year where they'll be giving uh, defenders, you know, just uh, more credit for passing tackles and all that stuff. He's really good with the defensive stuff and I think that will give him a lot of points this season. My fourth defender is Keane from Everton. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Everton. I mean, goes without saying, but uh, I think because of the early easy fixtures, it might be safe to pick an Everton defender. And I think Keane is most likely to play. Keane uh, is quite expensive at 5 million. What are they thinking? This man sucks. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, I think he will start. And uh, my last defender is Bailey from Man United. Very talented defender. In all honesty, one of my favorite defenders. I think he's a bully. He is a bully. And I think he'll be doing a good job this season in the Premier League. And another defender that does well with uh, 
uh, passes and defense and all that stuff. But anyway, moving on to my midfielders, I have Leroy Sané from Man City. Once again, I talked about Man City before, very good team, and he's probably one of the best young players in the Premier League. He will definitely start and he will definitely do a good job this season. Good selection there. I also have Ryan Sessegnon from Fulham. Another really good player. He was extremely good last season uh, at uh, the Championship League. That's the second division in England. And he was so good at attacking and scoring that they moved him to left winger. And that's where I think he'll be playing this season. So he'll have more opportunity to score goals, to assist and to provide crosses for Mitrovic. Think he'll do a good job. My third midfielder is Felipe Anderson from West Ham. A very good defender. He did a good job, or let's say a decent job last season at Lazio. He wasn't selected for most of the games, but he was able to get four goals and seven assists. Uh, and with, with under, I think, 14 games played, 14 games started, and uh, 11 games subbed in. So uh, he had a few chances, and he actually took uh, some of those chances as well. So I think he'll do a good job at West Ham this season. Uh, my fourth midfielder is Sorio Mane. Uh, uh, money, money, da, 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 da. I'm a Liverpool fan, and I love this guy. I love this. I love this pouty, this pouty black man. He is so pouty and he's so black. I love this guy. By the way, I'm black, so that's not racist. Uh, but anyway, uh, Sadio Mane is an attacking midfielder and I think is pretty affordable at 9.5 million. I think he might be the cheapest best player in uh, the fantasy uh, Premier League and I think he'll do an extremely good job. I mean, every Liverpool attacker will be super good. No matter which one you buy, you'll, you'll get points. Any, anyway, my last selection is kind of a surprise. I chose Hudson Adoy from Chelsea. This is a youngster who has done extremely well in the preseasons. Probably had the best performance I've seen from a player in a preseason match against Arsenal. He was excellent against Arsenal. Even though they lost, uh, they lost that game through penalties, he was easily the best player extremely well at the left wing and I think he will start a couple of games this season. I put him in as my sub player uh, but I think there will be a couple of games where I'll put him in my team. Uh, I think he'll do a good job. Going to my strikers now, I have Jimenez. This is the Mexican player from Benefica loaned to Wolves. Uh, Wolves I think will do a good job this season. They were dangerous last season at the championship were really good at the championship last season and i think uh he'll help the attack and score a couple of goals he's also a budget striker at 5.5 million and a very good selection because I i'm pretty sure he will start most of the wolves games moving on to uh, my other striker obamiyang obamiyang is from arsenal and i have no idea how teams just let Arsenal sign this guy. This guy is brilliant. I have no idea how teams just let him go. I, I don't get it. But uh, anyway, Aubameyang is a striker who had a very good uh, second half of the season at Arsenal last season, scoring, I think, 11 goals in like 10 games. The guy was extreme. The guy was extreme. And I think he could potentially be the golden boot winner in the Premier League. So he'll be delivering many, many, many points. Many points. And anyway, uh, my last uh, striker is uh, Roberto Firmino. Bobby, Bobby Firmino. Uh, and Liverpool fans call him Bobby Firmino. Uh, Roberto Firmino is a false nine striker for Liverpool so not only will he be scoring the goals but he'll be providing a lot of the goals and he wins a lot of tackles he completes a lot of passes he does a lot of key passes so he'll be getting them extra points this season good selection I, I honestly believe very cheap at 9.5 million Unfortunately, I couldn't finish the trifecta of uh, uh, Liverpool attackers, but I did get the goalkeeper. Uh, so yeah, 
that is my team and i hope you guys have enjoyed uh this video of uh my team selection for the first game week uh in uh, the Barclay premier league uh, uh for the fantasy game uh please subscribe to buff potato and we'll be talking uh, a lot of football this season and uh i hope you guys enjoy some of our content uh thanks for joining i've been abongine and i will catch you guys later